Hi folks, hope you're okay today. I just want to read a quote from an article by uh, Kyle Butt, uh, Archaeology and the Old Testament. And he says this, the biblical text of 2 Chronicles 3, 2, 30 further substantiates the tunnel construction with this uh, comment. The same Hezekiah also stopped the water outlet of Upper Gion and brought the water by tunnel to the west side of the city of David. The tunnel known today as Hezekiah's Tunnel stands as one of the paramount archaeological attestations, attestations to the biblical text. Car through solid limestone, the tunnel meanders in an S-shape under the city of Jerusalem for a length of approximately 1,800 feet. In 1888, two boys swimming at the site discovered an inscription about 20 feet from the exit that provided exact in details regarding how the tunnel had been constructed. It said, and this was the account of the breakthrough, while the labourers were still working with their bricks each towards the other, and while there were still three cubits to broken through, the voice of each was heard calling to the other, because there was a crack or split or overlap in the rock from the south to the north. At the moment of the breakthrough, the labourers struck each towards the other, pick against pick, then water flowed from the spring to the pool for 1,200 cubits, and the height of the rock above the heads of the labourers was 100 cubits. And you can see the tunnel today. And uh, if you look here, we have an inscription that goes back to 400 B, 14 BC of Yahweh. Um, this says this engraved slab of granite is more than 10 feet tall and was found in 1896 in Western Thebes, Egypt. It contains the oldest curtain reference to Israel outside the Bible and is referred to as the Men of Steel. It was carved in 1210 BC. BC in hieroglyphics it is currently located in Egyptian Museum Cairo. Note the word Israel is the darkened section of the second line from the bottom, which can be seen more clearly by clicking on the photo to enlarge it. Uh, King David, this is scriptures, uh, bare salt stone contains an ancient reference to the biblical King David being roughly a foot tall. It was written in Aramaic in the mid 19th, 19th century BC and is known as the Tel Dan Stella. The text actually refers to the house of Dean and David, meaning his royal family, found during excavations in the ancient city of Dan in 1993 and 94. It is now located in the Israel Museum. King Solomon, in the biblical fast passage in, found in 1 Kings 9.15, it notes that King Solomon constructed the city wall for the town of Giza, Archaeologists working at the site have now identified Solomon's wall and the photo displayed here shows the remains of the gate portion. And and you can go on and on on this site seeing many, many countless historical confirmations of the Old Testament in archaeology. And you can find that on biblicalarchaeology.blogspot.uk. Thank you for listening and take care.